This morning, new images from inside a COVID ICU in the Rio Grande Valley. As the situation in Texas turns desperate, this hospital on the verge of making decisions based on patients' chances of survival. And we don't have the resources to be helping them. With deaths and hospitalizations rising in many states across the country, 150 doctors signed this public letter telling America's decision makers that the U.S. needs to shut down again amid the surge. Dr. Anne Ramoyne signed that letter. That we all opened up too soon. We underestimated the virus. We underestimated spread. We really are on track to lose many, many more American lives. Despite the surge in cases, the CDC laying out its new guidelines for schools nationwide, making a push to get kids back into the classroom. This just a week after President Trump criticized the original guidelines as too tough and expensive. The CDC recommending schools keep kids in pods, use social distancing, and recommends students and staff wear face coverings. Parents facing a tough decision. I don't feel comfortable with my kids going to school as of yet because this virus is still not over yet. I believe they need to be in school. More one on one, more interaction with the other kids. But some school districts like Houston pushing back the start of the school year. The state of Texas, one of the hardest hit states, seeing more than 8,000 daily cases. The Austin Convention Center turned into a field hospital. For Alfonso Rodriguez, COVID has cost him his parents and brother, losing them within days. And we were sitting there and they told me that our mom had passed away while we were doing arrangements for my brother. Cases also soaring in Florida, a record number of hospitalizations with cases of the virus over 400,000. In Lankworth, Anadelia Diaz lost her 29-year-old daughter, a healthcare worker, to COVID. She leaves behind three young children. It's something that take, takes everything away from you. But the kids keep me motivated, you know, because a lot, they remind me a lot about her and I see a lot of her in them. The state of California also setting records, a record number of deaths in a single day for the second day in a row. On Friday, health officials reporting 159 deaths, bringing the state's total to a little over 8,000. Overnight, New Orleans cracking down as cases soar, closing bars while the state of Mississippi taking action too, restricting social gatherings. The nation's top infectious disease specialist, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says the U.S. is not near the end of this pandemic. Particularly the southern states which have gotten into trouble. But you certainly have to call a pause and maybe even a backing up a bit. But there are signs of recovery. In a grueling battle against the coronavirus, ER doctor Grant Lashley fought for his life on a ventilator for 39 days, getting out of the ICU. You got this. You're gonna do it. Breathe. And spending the past six weeks at this Houston rehab facility. Hey, kids. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> on Friday, finally reuniting with his kids and heading home. I couldn't have told you three to four weeks ago this would ever happen. No. I was really concerned for myself. So great to see those reunions. As of right now, as of August 1st, Massachusetts and D.C. will implement travel restrictions for people traveling from COVID hotspots. They're supposed to quarantine for 14 days.